Hey guys, it's been a minute. <laughs> this is Big and welcome to Biggie's Gospel Show. Today's Romy Reminder is um, the mystery of languages. So, um, where should I begin? Uh, <laughs> have you ever... Okay, what makes someone acknowledge their nationality? If I'm to ask that first question. What makes someone acknowledge their first nationality? Uh, if you think about it, a Chinese person will say I'm Chinese because they're able to speak Mandarin. A German will, will say I'm German because they're able to speak German. When you come to Uganda and you say you are a Muganda or a Mutesa, what usually happens is someone will ask you, what's your tribe? And then you say I'm a Mutesa and then they'll say uh, Akironyo. So you have to be able to reply. So it's like proof of your tribe, of your culture and so on and so forth. So God God got that thing and he taught me a lesson, a beautiful lesson. Um, what happens if you are surrounded by people who are speaking a language you don't understand? You usually get frustrated. You feel like maybe backbiting you or they're talking about a topic so good you'd like to engage yourself in it, but you just can't because there's language barrier. Now stick with me. In the same way, uh, heaven also has a language. And since we all have spirit, we have to know the language of, oh, okay, the language to the country we belong to. And um, if you notice, there's something called uh, tongues. And you've heard many people say, um, you've had the gift of tongues by the spirit, Holy Spirit, and those are spiritual tongues. And so you realize that what this is trying to mean to us or tell us is that someone won't feel confident I, I have um parents from two different how can I call it two different tribes is it two different yeah uh, my mom is from uh, east and my dad is from the west so when you're a mutesa and many times people ask me questions of um which tribe you belong to and I okay I tell them I'm um, this and that and then of course they start asking me questions and they want me to uh uh what's that word i've forgotten the word i want to sustain the conversation and i don't feel confident you know when you find people who's uh, who are pure blood <laughs> let's say both parents of the same tribe and they understand the language they have that confidence they carry and today i want to tell us that um the devil has created so much doctrine around tongues because when you speak in them you may not um understand but the bible says you'll be able to translate what's happening is when you speak to them, the Bible says that he who speaks speak in tongues speaks mystery. Okay? Speaks mysteries. And um, he does he speak to God. So what's happening is it's the Holy Spirit praying in you. So the only person understanding is is God because God is the one speaking in you through the Holy Spirit. And so you're conversing with him and the devil cannot understand. So many of us out there reject the gift of we are building these doctrines around that a hey, maybe tongues are not for everyone therefore pastors what those those are if i'm forgive my career it is the misbehaving <laughs> so many doctrines are passing around you get many of you are saying um that man of god never used in tongues but that's him your story is different what if in your life where you are you really need tongues because it's a beautiful gift, it's the only new gift that appeared in the New Testament. Because we could see healings in the Old Testament. We could see many things in the Old Testament apart from tongues. So, tongues is the language from heaven. And if you don't have it, there's a confidence you feel you are missing. Even, I, I, I've experienced myself, many friends who do not speak in them, when they come around for who do, they lose their confidence because there's a language barrier. Now, the devil gets that weirdness you feel of language barrier and tries to make you feel like... Ah, what? These people are weird. What? It's because they want you to desire it. And in so doing, he doesn't want to, to face language barrier whenever you're praying to God. So many of us may ask for a Range Rover. I'm giving this example. And so the devil hears your conversation and says, Oh, he wants a Range Rover. Okay. Then he brings a Vitz. So when he brings a Vitz, you say, mm, Maybe this is what God could afford. No, no. Your Range Rover was on the way, but because the enemy was able to understand what you're asking for. He's giving you something that would make you think that the Lord is not able to do exceedingly abundantly above all you could ask or think. So I'm encouraging you and I'm praying for everyone watching today that may the Lord give you tongues for those who are not speaking in them. For there's a lot of language barrier. If you see um 
in Genesis 11, we see that the story of the Tower of Babel, whereby uh, guys wanted to build a, a structure to reach heaven, and God caused, um, gave them different languages. So because of language barrier, they could not stay together. They scattered. Now, that purpose was for people to fill the earth, because, because God had told the men to uh, multiply and fill the earth. But now, if you get that allegory and put it in this story, two people cannot exist or correlate if they are not speaking the same language and if you're praying in tongues and the devil can't understand guess what he cannot stay because every time you come around he's feeling irritated he knows that you could be backbiting him so he just has to go away <laughs> i pray you've been blessed by this because it's wow it blew my mind away so um, god bless you and i i pray that the holy spirit may give the gift to all those who desire it today may stir up the hunger in you to receive this gift because it accelerates you it, it praying in tongues has a lot of advantages it enables you to receive mysteries from the bible revelations because you're speaking to god you're able to understand those hard hard scriptures so i declare that you receive that gift and um let just let me know in the comments any questions you could be having about it but i i hope this mystery has been revealed unto you that the enemy doesn't want you speaking in it because there is a language barrier happening between you and him and he doesn't know what you're communicating to heaven and he loves Rukambo so he's doing all the best he can to stop you from receiving or uh, praying in it God bless you, God guide you and uh, stay tuned on Video Cafe Show bye bye